Welcome to Melody Homes. We're proud you've chosen us to build your new home. At Melody, building a home is teamwork, and you are a vital part of our team. To help clarify your part in this process, we've prepared this video and homeowner manual. They provide important information on the various steps involved in building your home and on our warranty service program. They also provide valuable maintenance tips for your new home. These are great tools that will help you not only during the initial process, but also through the life of your Melody home. Congratulations, and thank you for choosing us. Hi, I'm Toby Terhoon, Vice President of Melody Homes. I'm very proud to be part of the Melody team that will be building your new home. A new home is exciting and rewarding. It's also a big responsibility. To help you, we put together the following video and this homeowner's manual. The manual will give you information about the process of buying and building your new home. From applying for the loan to pouring the foundation, it describes the steps necessary to get your home ready for the day you move in. Please read it carefully. It will cut down on delays and confusion about what can and can't be done once construction has started. Here's a few more important things you'll need to know. The first thing you will need to do is make loan application within five days of the date of contract. If we have not received notice from you or your lender within five days, one of our sales representatives will be in contact with you. This information is very important to us. We often start the construction process shortly after the contracts are signed. We need this information to order the materials needed to build your home. If you're late, we're late. City codes may govern which homes can be built next to each other. Once you have made a selection of which model and elevation you want, we can determine which homes can be built next to yours. That is why it is often difficult, if not impossible, to change the model and elevation once you have made a decision. Shortly after the foundation has been poured, the design center will contact you to set up an appointment to choose your designer options. In order to be able to make these selections at this time, please review the list before your appointment. The design team will help you choose the colors and finishes to personalize your home. You sign an agreement with us at time of contract concerning job site safety. We must follow federal regulations. Your safety is very important to us. Please don't walk in or around your house during the construction process. Your home is the biggest investment you'll ever make. Like a car, it must be maintained. The remainder of this video will give you tips on how to keep it looking great for years to come. Following this tape will save you money and reduce the risk of costly service calls or a serious accident. Welcome to Melody Homes Home Care Guide. By this stage in the construction process, you completed your homeowner orientation and been given the keys to your new Melody home. Congratulations. Our house is now your home. By now, you're starting to realize that you forgot a lot of the information that was given to you at contract and throughout the construction process. Relax. That's why we created this video. It'll help you get reacquainted with your new Melody home. This video, along with our homeowner manual, are great reference tools and they'll help you maintain your home and help keep it looking great for years to come. At Melody, we take great pride in providing you with the best possible warranty service. During your home's warranty period, follow the service guidelines in your homeowner manual. If you need warranty service, we ask you to submit a written request to our customer service department. Once received, we'll contact you within five days to set up an appointment to determine which subcontractor will complete the repairs. We'll contact the subcontractor and send both of you a work order. Should you desire to be at home when the repairs are completed, our subcontractor will call to set up an appointment. However, a much more convenient way is to leave a key to your home at our sales center, allowing the work to be completed without inconveniencing you. For more information on our warranty program and what's covered, refer to your homeowner manual. Your heating system was designed by an engineer to control the temperature of your home. Properly cared for, it'll provide you with many years of service. Now here's some suggestions to keep it operating efficiently. 
It's important to replace your furnace filter monthly. When replacing filters, align the arrows on the side of the filter so they point towards the furnace. If your home has a reusable filter, simply remove the filter and hose it off. Reinstall the filter, making sure your shields have a tight fit, otherwise your unit will not operate. Your Melody Home has a mechanical thermostat which provides heating and cooling on a constant on-off basis. Simply turn the unit on and set it to the desired temperature. During the summer and winter months, you may want to shut down rooms that are unused or unoccupied. Room vents are an easy way to do this and will direct warm or cool air where it's needed most. We all appreciate the conveniences of modern plumbing. However, you should be aware that these systems are the most common cause of water damage in the home. To prevent problems, here's a few things that you should know about your system. During the first 30 days, we'll fix any blockages from construction materials. After that, you'll want to call in a professional plumber for any service. If you experience a plumbing leak, the first thing to do is turn off the water. You may need to shut off the water to the entire house. There are two ways to do this. The first water shutoff is located in the basement or crawl space. The second is located at the sidewalk or lawn in front of your home. Additional shutoffs are located at each sink or toilet. We generally recommend using these as they let you continue normal water use in the rest of your home. Sink traps are located below the sink. They fill with water to trap sewer gas from coming into your home. They're also helpful when retrieving an item that has fallen down the drain. If you've lost an item or the drain is clogged, simply unscrew the plastic retainer, pour the debris into a bucket, and clear the trap. When you're finished, replace the trap. For sinks, showers, and drains you don't use regularly, Run water into the drain once a month. It'll keep the trap filled with water and sewer gas smell out of your home. If the fill basin in your toilet doesn't shut off between flushes, here's two things you can do. First, grab the float and gently pull up until the water shuts off. If that stops the water, the problem can usually be fixed with a little adjustment. Using a screwdriver, adjust the screw to the new position. If that doesn't stop the leak, check the flapper on the bottom of the water basin. Clean away any debris that's keeping it from sealing properly. If the flapper has worn out, you'll need to replace it. Purchase one from your local hardware store, shut the water off, drain the tank and install a new one. They snap in easily. We use natural gas water heaters in our homes. We suggest draining your heater once a year to remove sediment that collects on the bottom of the tank. This increases its life and reduces your utility bills. Attach a garden hose and open the drain valve. Use caution, this water is hot. Also, you'll want to check the pressure relief valve to ensure it works properly. You'll increase efficiency and save money by not overheating your water. Try lowering the temperature. For additional savings, try turning the heater down when leaving for vacation. In many basements, you'll find a sump pit. This is a secondary system for your exterior drainage. If water accumulates in the pit, you may need to install a pump. Don't forget your outside watering system you'll want to make sure that it is shut down properly for the season to avoid freezing and cracking the pipes. Separate the garden hose from the water tap, drain the hose, and store it for the season. You may wish to add an automatic sprinkler system. At Melody, we provide a sprinkler system rough-in located in the basement.
This is a welcome convenience should you desire to add one in the future. Electricity is something we all take for granted, until it's not there. The electrical system in your home is protected by a series of circuit breakers that shut down or trip if the system is being overloaded. Although a power surge from outside the house can trip a breaker, the most common cause is using too many appliances on the same circuit. If the power goes off in a particular area, go to your circuit breaker panel. Find the breaker switch that serves the affected area. To reset the breaker, push it all the way off, then back to the on position. If it immediately trips again, check to see if you're overloading that circuit. If unplugging a few cords doesn't help, leave the breaker in the off position and contact a licensed electrician as overloaded lines are dangerous. Your Melody Home also has GFI outlets. These are intended to provide an extra measure of safety in areas where water may be present. GFIs are located in the kitchen, bathroom, and exterior of the home. One GFI may control several outlets. To test the system, push the button marked T or test, which will activate the reset button. Push R until you hear a click. Because GFIs are now required in garages and basements, Plugging appliances like freezers into them is not recommended. Accidental tripping of the circuit could cause your unit to stop, spoiling your frozen goods. If you have a garage or basement appliance, we recommend installing a separate circuit. A licensed electrician can do this for you. Your Melody Home is equipped with smoke detectors that are wired into your electrical system. Periodically check to make sure your alarms are working properly by pressing the red or green test button on the bottom of the unit. If the system activates, they're working. If not, check the breaker at the junction box. If there's a power failure, the system still works because the detectors have backup batteries. You'll need to check and replace these batteries periodically. When the batteries are low, the system reminds you by giving off high-pitched chirping sounds. You'll also want to occasionally vacuum the unit to keep dust from clogging the sensor. Throughout your home, you'll notice several outlets positioned upside down. This tells you that one of the two plugs is controlled by a separate wall switch. It's a convenient feature that allows you to turn off and on a fixture from one location. The most used room in any home is the kitchen. So we'll be showing you how to fix and maintain things here. However, you can apply the same methods anywhere in your home. The garbage disposal is one of your home's most useful features, but it's not meant for things like steak bones, celery stalks, or potato peels. When using the disposal, wash away materials with cold water. If your unit jams, here's what to do. First, Make sure the unit is off and unplugged. Then take the special wrench that comes with your disposal to manually work the gears free. When the unit is clear, plug it in and press the reset button on the bottom of the disposal. Your disposal should now operate normally. Your home may have both electrical and gas appliances. These can include refrigerators, microwaves, stoves, dishwashers, now, each has a manual that comes with it that'll give you more information on your particular units. It is important to fill out the ownership registration card for each unit to start your manufacturer's warranty coverage. The doors, cabinets, and baseboard in your kitchen and throughout your home are probably made of wood. Each piece takes stain or paint differently. This is natural and part of your wood's unique character. All woodwork should be cleaned with a slightly damp cloth. Excessive water, harsh chemicals, and abrasives should not be used. A light application of lemon oil after cleaning protects the natural finish. Your laminate countertops and wood cabinets are just as easy to take care of. Use a mild non-abrasive soap or cleaner and wipe dry. Do not set anything that's hot directly on your countertop as burns and warping will occur. 
Sometimes water flow from a faucet becomes restricted or unsteady, which probably means that the aerator is clogged. Simply unscrew it, take out the screen inside and clean it. Replace the assembly and the water flow should return to normal. In this last section, we'll give you information on all areas in the home. From carpet to windows, we'll give you information to help you or to simply keep your home looking great. Done correctly, landscaping may add value and appearance to your new home. But before planning anything, or adding a patio, a deck, or even a fence, you should be aware of the following. We've graded your yard for proper drainage. It's designed to direct water flow away from your home. Your drainage system consists of graded surface swales and may include below surface drains. Blocking or changing these can affect drainage flow, causing serious problems in your yard and basement. Also, if you did not install sod in your backyard, it's your responsibility to maintain the grade of your yard. Many of you are part of a homeowners association, so you may need approval before doing any exterior work. For more information on landscaping, please refer to your contract information and homeowner manual. Even a perfect coat of interior or exterior caulk will eventually discolor, deteriorate, and need to be repaired. Using the same color caulk and a caulk gun, you can easily do the job yourself. After removing the old caulk, clean the area and apply the new caulk. Wipe off the excess and let dry. Areas where tiles meet tubs and sinks meet counters need to be recocked as soon as you notice any deterioration. Because there are many types of caulk, be sure to use the proper one for your particular job. The walls of your Melody home are finished with latex paint. After moving in, you'll want to use the touch-up paint we've supplied for fixing walls that were nicked during move-in. It's also normal for hairline cracks to appear on the walls of your home. These occur due to the normal expansion and contraction of your home. We recommend you seal wall cracks and nail pops with a good caulk or spackling. Exterior cracks can be fixed in the same manner. Painting the caulked surface further protects the repair. The windows in your home require very little maintenance. When cleaning, use a window cleaner since water tends to streak. Vacuuming the tracks periodically will remove dust and debris and allows your windows to slide freely. Keeping them clean also allows water to run out during storms. Make sure the small weep holes where water escapes are kept free of obstructions. The most important step in caring for your carpet is vacuuming. Vacuum thoroughly and frequently, particularly in high traffic areas. During the first months, you may notice some carpet shedding. This is normal and disappears in time. Some carpet seams may remain noticeable. They are part of your carpet and necessary for installation. For specific information regarding carpet maintenance, refer to your carpet handout. Clean your vinyl flooring with a small amount of vinegar and warm water. Don't use other cleaning products containing turpentine, alcohol, or kerosene, as they'll permanently damage the surface. Sharp edges from furniture or high heels will damage vinyl and wood flooring. This damage is not covered by your warranty, so for your protection, we recommend using furniture rests. Purchase them at your local hardware store. It's also important to maintain your hardwood floors. Your hardwood floor handout gives you this information. Your Melody home may have a gas fireplace. The owner's guide will give you specific instructions on how to light or shut off the fireplace in case of emergency or when leaving for extended periods. Never throw anything in the fireplace as these systems are not designed to burn solids. Exhaust vents may be within reach. Never touch the vent or put anything inside it. Your home may have structural wood floors. 
They are designed to eliminate potential problems associated with expansive soils. These items should be checked monthly. The sump pit. Make sure to check the water level for any changes. Soil moisture level. Look for any noticeable changes to the moisture of your soil. Also, check the void material. Is it damp and compacted? Finally, inspect the exhaust fan and vent. Make sure the fan is working and the vent is clean of debris. If there are any problems, contact our customer service department in writing as soon as possible. Like the hairline cracks that occur in your walls because of expansion and contraction, these same types of cracks can form in your basement, garage, walks, or porches. To help with this, we install control joints to control where cracks occur. While they're effective, cracks can occur outside the control joint. This is natural and these cracks should be sealed with concrete caulk. You can purchase concrete caulk at your local hardware store. The shingles on your home are energy efficient and long lasting. However, they'll need to be periodically checked to make sure none are missing. Be careful when walking on your roof to avoid damage that could lead to serious leaks. Gutters and downspouts require little maintenance, but they will need to be cleaned. Twice a year is all it takes. During the winter, you'll need to remove any ice buildup in the gutter, as it can lead to leaks inside your home. Should ice damming occur, install heat tape to the gutter to keep the water flowing. Like your home's main water valve, you also have a main valve for your gas service as well. In an emergency, you may need to shut it down. Locate the valve and turn it a quarter turn. Once turned off, you, or a certified technician, will need to check and possibly relight all gas appliances in the home, including the furnace, water heater, and stove. In the future, you may want to add an electric garage door opener. We pre-wire for this. However, this will end Melody's obligation to any adjustments on your door. So we recommend that you use an established garage door installer who will warranty their services. Many of you own a home with a crawl space. It's important to keep this space vented at all times. At Melody, we provide a temperature controlled exterior vent that will automatically do this for you. Using this area for storage is not recommended. In the future, as you use this tape for reference, use the icons that appear on the back of the video box and on the bottom of the video screen to quickly get to sections. We hope this tape has been helpful and informative. Most importantly, enjoy your new Melody home.